afternoon, I'd like to welcome you to today's seminar and first like to give a plug for our speech next week by Fernando Zeta from the ATL Lab, Sir Johns Hopkins, for these weekend Bayesian networks. Um, Dr. Taylor is, uh, I guess someone I've known for nine, ten years now. Uh, he got his undergraduate degree at Japan, uh, then uh, prior to uh, going back for his uh, PhD at Harvard, he was uh, one of the chief scientists at SRA in the NLP group. Um, he worked for a summer in the machine translation team at IBM with uh, Bob Mercer and Peter Brown uh, while at Harvard. Uh, and for the past four years, he's been a principal scientist in the artificial intelligence group at uh, SRI. Uh, a great pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much for inviting me. Turn this on, right? Let me apologize in advance to the camera crew. I have a tendency to, to walk around when I talk. I've been criticized for this on numerous occasions, but I'll do my best to stay in one place. No, 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 they don't focus on you. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> a wise idea in general. So I'm going to be talking kind of in general terms uh, in, uh, about an application uh, that's uh, been a popular one, or at least, at least driven kind of a niche community in natural language processing, that of information extraction. So I designed a talk in hopes that maybe some of you kind of know what information extraction is, but don't know a lot of the details, or maybe you don't know what it is at all, but hopefully aren't as familiar with it as somebody who's, who's been in the community uh, for a while. Uh, so what I'll be doing is spending a, uh, some time introducing uh, information extraction What's, what, what's the definition of a task? Um, how are these systems evaluated? And um, what has come to be essentially a standard system architecture for, uh, for such a system? Uh, I'll briefly go over some uh, uh, previous work in applying learning technologies to, uh, to information extraction, um, although learning has, is yet to be the dominant uh, paradigm in this area. I'll then talk about some, some rather ambitious um, and, and, I'll, and, and actually fairly unsuccessful experiments in, in learning a high-level uh, process in information extraction that applies at the level of discourse, that is, between sentences. And they, these failures actually, for certain reasons I'll, I'll go into, inspired uh, me to look a little closer at the nature of the evaluation metrics that are being used uh, in the community. Uh, which will, will be quite revealing. Um, and then so I'll just summarize with uh, some, some ideas 